The Lord bless you. This is God's servant, Apostle Cedric. And you're welcome to this channel. I have a quick prophetic word for you and a very quick teaching for you. When your faith says yes. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. The Bible says without faith it's impossible to please God. In Mark chapter 9 and Mark chapter 11, 23 and 24, the Bible says if you have faith and you ask anything, it shall be done according to your faith. You must understand that faith is the currency for spiritual transaction. Any of your dealings with God, any of your dealings in the spiritual realm, you need faith. There is a market in the spirit. And the currency is faith what you need to buy your healing is faith jesus did not heal anybody in the bible he says in the book of matthew chapter 8 verse 8 a man says just say a word and my servant shall be healed when he made the word he says your faith has healed your servant the same thing in matthew 9 the woman that had the issue of blood she touched the garment of jesus and he says that by her faith she was healed blind Bartimaeus was healed by his faith so your faith is that currency your faith is that thing that qualifies you for your own miracle everything that god can give you is tied to the amount of faith you can show him i want you to understand today that what you need is faith you don't need money you need the faith for wealth you don't need a car you need faith for automobiles therefore i declare that let faith grow in your heart in the mighty name of jesus christ i tell you there is a possibility that a poor man in the morning can be a rich man at night if only he has faith there's a possibility that a sick man in the day can be well at night a man was sick he was at the pool for 38 years but one day when he met jesus by faith he got his deliverance what i'm saying today is that what your lens of prayers could not do for you one display of faith can do some believe in the touch i've prayed for so many people and some just by the words of my mouth they are delivered and some they need me to touch them some believe in the touch some believe in the word some believe in the presence some believe in the thoughts but whatsoever it is your actions must be propelled by faith in order to produce results therefore the lord says i should tell you that when your faith says yes even god cannot say no god does not deny the request born of faith now pastor how do i have faith if faith is this crucial that it determines what i can receive from god how do i have faith number one bible says in the book of romans 10 verse 17 it says now faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of god which means your relationship with the word determines the growth of your faith how old permit the word how old your faith is is determined by your level of revelation how hungry you are for the word determines how much your spirit can eat faith if you want to grow in faith grow in the word the bible is full of the testimonies of people who have walked in faith bible says in the book of hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 it says don't be slothful but be followers of them who through faith and patience obtain the promise when you open the scriptures you will see non-entities who became entities you will see failures who became successes and this will be your anchor of faith their faith will stir up your faith that a man was a shepherd boy and became a king and not make you to live any condition and become what god says you can become what god says you will be cannot be without faith number two by the spirit of prayer in the book of jude 20 it says build the most holy faith praying in the holy ghost the more you pray the more you stretch your spirit to believe in possibilities spirit birth spirit spiritual things are spiritually discerned as iron sharpens iron spirit sharpens the possibility of spirit if you are going to walk in the realm of the spirit if you are going to walk in the realm of excess provision you must pray pray doubt out of your life pray unbelief out of your life and this is how you receive by faith when your faith says yes even your pastor even your god cannot say no faith 
is the currency and i declare today the lord gives you the faith it takes for the result you're looking for i prophesy to the first 100 people hearing my voice the lord is giving your deliverance by faith in jesus precious name try your faith go out there and prize the land go out there and make arrangements for a car make your arrangements for a house and the lord shall give you that property in jesus precious name have a wonderful day god bless you shalom